So hello there, welcome to Damien's Trains and Travels, welcome to the video, and in this video I'll be showing you my collection of Monkey uh, from the PG Tips advert. So like I say, he's known as Monkey, he's a knitted monkey, and he appeared in the PG Tips advert alongside Johnny Vegas, who played a character called Al. And before PG Tips, they were actually in other adverts for ITV Digital, and that was around 2001, and you can still see those adverts on YouTube, and again, um, when I was younger, you couldn't just skip through the TV adverts, you had to watch them unless you recorded them on a tape and then you could fast forward and skip through them then, but obviously now you can, obviously the digital TV, um, you can rewind on your top set box you record or whatever, or you, can, you can skip through the adverts and obviously there's online stuff and streaming as well now. So the technology's changed quite a lot. So Monkey was actually in them adverts, and I do actually, funny actually, uh, when I was going over YouTube, because I do like watching the old adverts, so I was, I was watching it, and I do actually remember those adverts from back then. I was about eight years old when they came out. So quite young, but I do remember them. But I was a little bit older when the PG Tips adverts came out, and Johnny Vegas played Al, and I'll say there was Monkey. And uh, this year it was announced that, unfortunately, uh, Monkey has been retired as well as Al, and there was loads of uh, comments I noticed on the new advert for this year, saying bring back Monkey and all that, and you know, and I agree as well, and so unfortunately things change, as you probably know as well, if you know me personally outside of YouTube and on YouTube I guess, uh, you know I like a cup of tea as well, and uh, always take my flask with me whenever I go out on my travels to various places uh, around the UK as well, and it's funny as well actually, when I was at um, senior school, so, I mean, we're talking about, this was about 18 years ago now that he left, but there was a supply teacher um, from when I was in year seven till about three months into year nine called Mr. McCarthy. And I don't know what it's like at schools now, but you had obviously your main teachers and then you had what you call supply teachers. And basically they didn't teach anything specific, but then if a teacher was off sick or whatever, um, they covered the lesson, basically. So I suppose in some ways they had it quite easy. And um, there was a teacher called Mr. McGarhy, uh, an old guy. He was probably in his late 50s, early 60s, I imagine. Probably, you know, close to retirement age. I mean, that's how old he looks. Never told us actually how old he was. But I remember it was quite funny, actually. Um, he used to come in and then he'd sit on the front of the table. He'd sit on the table with his um, feet on one of the chairs, sort of talking to you. And then while you're sort of doing the work, he used to sort of sit on the desk, particularly in one lesson. I remember sitting on the desk. Um, in the corner, actually at the chair, not actually sitting on the desk this time, but actually sitting at the tape, at the um, chair at the desk, and he got out his flask, which was a tartan coloured one, and made, poured himself a cup of tea, and then he used to walk round, and if we had any questions, sort of thing, it was, you know, that was really funny, and from what I heard, they never renewed his contract, um, you know, and he was, a, he was a funny teacher, he was a nice guy. But yeah, I remember he always used to bring his flask and have a cup of tea in the corner and me and another friend always used to laugh. And, um, you know, he spoke in a very sort of slow voice and it was, you know, he was, he was quite funny and he used to tell us loads of um, stories about things that were in his life, you know, his life and things like that. And, you know, he was a very funny guy uh, in general. But like I said, uh, Monkey was a staple of the EPG adverts for a number of years and I think it's a shame that he's gone. And Johnny Vegas is quite good too. And uh, I actually saw Johnny Vegas be 10 years ago. I went to Tenton Studios before it closed down. And I was in the audience for Still Open All Hours. And I got to see him. And then Linda Barron, who played Nurse Gladys Emanuel. And she was also in Come Outside, which was an educational show on uh, children's TV, which I used to enjoy watching as well when I was younger. Unfortunately, she passed away a few years ago now. But um, the PG Tips uh, advert, Monkey, you can see I've got a little bit of a collection of them. I've got six of them all together. And if you watch my videos fairly regularly, you'll probably see, notice that Monkey appears quite a lot in the background. I guess I did it as a bit of a joke. But he's been in a number of my videos, and someone, someone commented on my video recently saying about the fact that he appeared. And then a couple of the other characters um, from my childhood <laughs> appeared in the background as well. So I thought to myself, well, you know, maybe I should make a video about Monkey. And, um, again, I really liked the adverts with Al and Monkey in them when I was younger and, and now as well. You know, it was only really up till a few years ago they stopped um, showing them, unfortunately, which I think is a shame. And like I said, I've noticed no end of comments online about people saying with the new advert that came out this year that it was rubbish compared to the ones with Al and Monkey. 
and monkeys have been associated with PG Tips for many, many years. Got these toy cars, as you can see here. And um, they say on the front of them, 40 years of the PG Tips. And if you look under the, underneath them as well. And again, you can watch the old adverts with the chimps on um, YouTube as well now. Obviously, they're not on TV now. So, you know, YouTube's a really good thing in a way, really, because, um, you know, it used to be you either miss... I mean, when I was younger, I always used to think the adverts were really interesting as well. But like I said, nowadays, you can watch no end of them on YouTube as well. And um, so there's six different ones here. And I haven't got the full set of monkeys. I mean, if you look online, um, you know, maybe eBay and things like that, uh, there's no end of monkey toys and merchandise. And I haven't got all of them. Um, the one I did get in the PG Tips range was this one here, the one with his shirt on. So I got that one in PG Tips and the one of him with the Christmas shirt on and it's basically monkey on the shirt with a pair of antlers to look a bit like a reindeer. And the other ones I actually got in um, charity shops in town and, um, you know, secondhand shops and things like that, quite cheap. Whereas, as I say, if you look on them, eBay, they're a lot more expensive. And, I mean, you've got to be careful as well because I have noticed, and even when I went to Bulgaria of all places, that there were some sort of, like, knockoff uh, PG Tips monkeys that people made themselves, not the genuine ones, which are probably not as good quality either. So it's always worth, you know, keeping your eyes peeled, I guess, really. And also as well, I do like drinking Tetley tea as well. So I like PG and Tetley and Yorkshire tea too, but Yorkshire tea doesn't really have anything that comes with it. But I've, as you probably see in my other videos, I've got the Tetley tea folk figures. And again, if you watch a number of my videos, they appear in the background as well, those figures. I think they're really nice. But like I said, I did really like Monkey as well, and I quite like the one of him in the dressing gown, the one with the M on it, making him look a bit like a film star sort of thing really, and the green one as well, green being my favourite colour. And uh, as well, like I said, I got them in a charity shop and there was a video that I made four years ago about a model railway set that I got for £5 and a lot of people commented on it recently saying, um, you know, oh, because it was charity, you should have paid, paid more and all that. But at the end of the day, um, they sold it to me for £5 and the Aramid charity that I did mention in that video, um, I do want to add that I do actually donate to them as well. So, you know, I think they've got their fair share from me over the years. I think it's fair to say. I just wanted to clarify that. And like I said, they did sell it to me for that price as well, um, which I didn't mention in the video, which maybe I should have done. So as I said, I've got this collection of monkeys here from the PG Tips advert. And as well as them, uh, Wallace and Gromit have been involved with PG Tips on a few occasions as well. And had some things like the Gromit mug that, uh, where the nose turns red. And again, I put that video on YouTube a few years ago and I was surprised how many views it got. And I've got the tea caddy as well that came with special packs of PG Tips as well. And again, Wallace and Gromit are always seen uh, sitting down having a cup of tea. I think it's a very British sort of tradition. And again, I quite like the advert with Alan Monkey when they sat around at the uh, TV, uh, you know, a cup of tea. You know, I think, again, a very sort of British sort of warmness, particularly obviously this time of year where it's quite cold as well, being inside in the wall having a cup of tea, sat down around the TV. It's sort of, again, I've said in the past, it sort of reminds me of my nan's house when I used to go around her house. And there was tea and cakes, whatever, on the table. And we had the TV on in the background which is quite nice. And uh, again, I've got these ones of the monkey with the red nose and the ones with the red nose. So the ones that you can see in the photo here, the dressing gown, the t-shirts, you can take the shirts on and off and change them round and all that. But the comic relief ones, the clothes are actually part of the design, so you can't take them on and off. And there was an advert as well for comic relief in 2009 where monkey appeared and he wasn't by himself. He was joined by a famous a load of characters from TV adverts that you probably recognise, like Bertie Bassett and Churchill and things like that, and the Meerkat and things like that. And again, I loved all them characters. And again, you know, I'm probably pointing out the obvious, but a lot of them characters are there really to obviously help advertise the products really. So, you know, probably to lure the public in. So obviously you have to be careful as well with these adverts, not to just, you know, buy stuff because of the character. But like I said, PG Tips or whatever, I used to buy anyway really. And love the monkey, and like I said, I didn't. All the ones I've got here, I didn't actually get them with the actual packs of PG, not all of them. But here's a closer look at all the monkeys that I've got, and thank you very much for watching.